All right, so it's time for some Astroneer. This is a special video. This is the lunar update in which you try to go to the moon and find the actual moon lander. And this is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, which uh, oddly enough was, what, exactly 50 years ago, three hours ago or something like that? I don't know. But in any case, we're here to find it on the moon. So let's play. Is there any cheese? Um, you know what? This is unknown as of yet. I will have to find out. Should I even bother trying to get a few, um, extra research? Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, that was close. Oh, was that close? Did you almost die? Uh, I almost got thwacked by a thumper. Yeah. Uh, thwacked by a thumper. <laughs> uh, something like, uh, thistle whip is the actual name of it. <laughs> thwacked by a thistle whip. Yeah. See you say that five times fast. Sacked by a thistle whip. Sacked by a thistle whip. Sacked by a thistle whip. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, you know what? Chicken butt. Well, yes, chicken butt indeed. Um, I just reminded myself I don't need to use the spaceship because of that thing this game does now. Here we go. Going to see if I can find the lunar rover. Because science is awesome. There is the portal in the distance. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's right! Shoot. I haven't activated the core at this planet, so therefore the gateway network is not online with the rest of the network. Rip. Yeah. I have a spaceship. I may as well just go back to the network so that that way I can do what I need to. Oh, wait. Oh, That's kind of weird. Man. Let's go back to Earth. Fish up! At least I got a couple extra research nodes that I didn't have before. Through the planet. Now then, the only thing that I'm going to probably need are batteries and oxygen tanks. Let's pull the extra oxygen tanks, and then the batteries. Whoa, whoa, yeah, nope, 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 back. There we go, okay. Right, let's head to the gateway. Because as far as I know, the only part of this mission it's just finding it. All right. And here we are. Oh. Oh, that's something I did not consider. Hmm. I don't have an oxygen network without the spaceship supplying to the tethers. So I might want to take the shuttle and bring it over here anyways. So then, I'll rethink on this. I will indeed want to use a spaceship to get to the moon rather than the travel network. Alright, so we got this little guy here. Alright, 
I am on the moon and I have oxygen supply through the tethers. Let's see, which direction do I want to go? Just a simple east-west? Well, here goes nothing. We're going to try to find this thing. Wouldn't it suck if, like, I happened to find it right in the middle of uh, the bottom of a crater or something? Something really dumb? Right. Hey, found my other tether line. But it did. This is the other landing site. Alright, how's oxygen? Huh, let's boost. Wow, that consumes quite a lot of power. What was that in the distance? Oh, okay. Yeah, the other thing that's not going to help is the fact that my graphics settings, or the graphic settings, I should say, limit the sight distance of anything that you have in the distance. Uh. So, in other words, I can't just see it in the distance. I have to be close enough to the rover to begin with when I find it, and then it'll show up, and then I'll know it's there. So, really, it is a case of covering ground. I'm trying to look for this lunar rover lunar lander, I should say. Oh! And then here's my other tether line that does not connect. Actually, you know what? Huh. A fair bet would be that they would put it at the north or south pole, since both of the gateways are east and west. So it's like, I've been moving in a westerly direction and haven't seen a darn thing. Ah, oh, climb this little top of the mountain here. Not seeing anything in my field view. I need to go this way. I see a beacon. Hey! I'm already around the planet back to my original landing site. North would be easier to start out with because I have that tether line. So I'm going to shoot for the North Pole. Okay, still in this direction. Right, let's see. Oh, I have perfect timing. I have just the one tether left and I'm in a patch of... Our, uh, compound. Alright, I'm getting pretty close to the pole because of the way that things are rotating around the planet here. Alright. So I am at the crater close to the North Pole. But I do not see a lander. Well, I'm at the North Pole and guess what? What? No spaceship. So the theory yeah. that they would place it at one of the poles is half over, because I am currently at the North Pole, and there is no spaceship to be found. Here, Lunar Lander, Lunar Lander, Lunar Lander, come out, come out, wherever you are. All right, well, let's try the South Pole then. Watch, I get to the South Pole, and I'm like, I can't believe it, I ever thought it would be here. this way. And I'm at the South Pole Crater, by the looks of it. Yep, and there we are. We're at the South Pole. Where did it land on the actual moon? That thought did come up in my mind, but I don't know if they would have been so... Why not? Well, because of the fact that the the way that the uh, worlds generate, it's done by, um, you know, by seeded numbers, you know, as a procedural generation. So there's no guarantee that everybody's moon is going to be the same. So, like, you know, that position on my moon could be at the bottom of a crater, whereas on somebody else's moon, it could be at the top of a mountain. Well, I mean, still, 
it's worth a, a look. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish my circumnavigation on the north. I mean, if you're gonna Africa. go so far as to do this special for the anniversary, why not put it near where it landed on the actual moon? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that research, I think. Or not! You found it? I think I did! Okay, I'm gonna tether this bitch. Ah, damn. Keep missing tethers. Yep. That's it. Cool. There she blows. All right, the eagle has landed. <laughs> so you did find it. I did find it, yes. Nice. All right, so now let's see what happens when I say take photo. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so I want to. Okay, all flight controllers, about fifteen seconds to CSM act. Cool. Listening to the radio transmissions now. Hey, Alright, hang on, I wanna come in there for a second. Check, check it out. Alright. We are at attitude. Love it right in attitude. Oh, this is such a cool thing for them to add into the game. Just taking this all in. Procedures from flight, we make sure the doors get secured now, please. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to the moon landing on the moon network, we have in Astroneer while moon walking. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, all flight controllers, go, no, go for power descent. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. GNC? Go. Ecom? Go. Surgeon? Go. Capcom, we're go for power descent. I think we better be quiet, Fido. Right. Right. 400 feet down at 9. Okay, the only call outs from now on will be fuel. Stay forward. 10 and 50 feet down at 4. 40 feet down, 2 and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Stand by for 30. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30. 30, 30 seconds. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We've had shut down. We copy you down, Eagle. Okay, everybody, T1, stand by for T1. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Okay, T1, stay no stay. Retro. Stay. Fido. Stay. Guidance. Stay. Control. Stay. Telcom. Stay. GNC. Stay. Ecom. Stay. Surgeon. Stay. Capcom, or stay for T1. Okay, it looks like we're vending the oxidizer now. Roger, Eagle, and you are safe right, for T1. Go Over. Control. Eagle, we're you are safe ox. for T1. Right, vending ox. Roger. And we're safe for T1. And there we have it. They landed. All right. Well, I am going to end transmission myself. And what a pleasurable thing. This is why I love this game. Big ups to System Era Software for doing this in what was already a special game, special moment, commemorating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing.